Well, they run across Everywhere. the floor because they don't really fit on their feet right. They just... <laughs> <laughs> and it is like the most obnoxious sound, but now I miss it so much. It's been over a month since Aislinn Staten's grandma has had the chance to hear that sound of the four-year-old's little shoes clacking on the ground. She was so happy and she was so sassy. I want to say bossy, <laughs> but she was sassy. She was bossy. She was bossy. Hey. <laughs> that big personality leaving an even bigger hole behind for her family members, like her grandfather and aunts. Her not being here in her presence has really like affected more than just oh, the adults, it affects the kids, kids, it affects everybody. Like this is just, this is an unfortunate, unfortunate loss, not only for our family, but for the community as well. She was a little girl, she didn't ask for this. She was four years old and she had a huge life ahead of her. Aislinn's autopsy report confirms the four-year-old died from fentanyl intoxication. Court documents say the little girl likely found pills stored inside of a container in the bathroom while her mom was asleep. But Aislinn's family says there is much more to the story than an affidavit can explain. They say Aislinn's mom struggled on and off with addiction and her family members say they did not know she was using again. A lot of people struggle with addiction and a lot of people that struggle with addiction closet that because they feel as if in the community they are being judged. Public leaders say the fentanyl crisis continues to sweep through Colorado. That's why Aislinn's family is sharing their experience, hoping it will save the lives of other children. Make sure whatever our side habits are, are kept away from them and made sure that like they're safe in all aspects of life.